Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Michael Casimir, and I am the orchestra director um, at Lindenwood. And um, so, so happy to see you all. I know last, uh, around this time last year, there was a concert, but it was on video. And then during the springtime, there was also another concert on video. But it's great to have a real audience again. So thanks for coming back. Um, And um, so for tonight, we have uh, three pieces for you. Uh, the first piece is the overture to Don Giovanni, very famous Mozart opera. Um, it's about, well, a Casanova type. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know those types of people. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's just the story of his, you know, trials and tribulations with different women and then he ends up um, coming to terms with all of that at the end. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's a good op opera. You should definitely check it out. Um, the second piece we're going to do is the very famous Barbara's Adagio. Um, it is, I mean, one of the most well-known pieces, classical pieces of music like ever written. Um, it was used at Albert Einstein's funeral. Um, it was made really famous. And if you've seen the movie Platoon, it was in that movie. Um, and then we're going to finish with Beethoven's uh, Symphony Number no. 1, Last Movement. Um, and yeah, you all know Beethoven, <laughs> so I don't have to do too much about that. But anyway, thanks for coming, and I hope you enjoy.
Well, good evening and thank you so much. Isn't it good to be back to live in-person performances, huh? Oh, man, yeah. I know we're super excited to be here, and we thank you so much for sharing your Monday evening with us. That first piece was entitled Proud Heritage March. If you've got the digital app on your phone, though, you know that already, don't you? That piece was, a, was voted one of the, twice, one of the top 100 marches for wind band literature, and I completely agree with it. So much fun to play, so much fun to listen to. We hope you enjoyed it. The next piece we have is entitled Melonious Thunk, and that's what you're going to hear a lot of, thunk. <laughs> It was inspired by the jazz pianist Thelonious Monk. His wife nicknamed, nicknamed him Melodious Thunk because his characteristic kind of quirky, sometimes clumsy and, and clunky style of playing the piano. But he was a brilliant jazz pianist, just absolutely marvelous, okay? And that's the, kind of the reason for this piece as well, just to kind of play tribute to him, if you will, as well, okay? There's a quote of a tune in here. It's attributed to Dizzy Gillespie. It's called Salt Peanuts. You'll know exactly when you hear it because it sounds just like the words. But that's, I'm, I'm sure Monk played that, but that's not one of his compositions. So we hope you enjoy Melodious Thunk.
I warned you, there was plenty of thunk, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. It was, that's a lot of fun to play. Um, next two pieces. Uh, first one's entitled Landscapes by um, Rosano Galante. Mr. Galante is more, much well known as a movie and TV composer and orchestrator. In the digital app, I listed several of the movies and TV shows that he scored for. That's just a small portion of what he's really responsible for. He's becoming a very prolific composer for band because he's intrigued with all the unique, unique and various timbres that the band has, as well as the, the percussion that you just heard in the last piece. So he's writing a lot for band. And uh, it sounds, a lot of it sounds like music, movie music, but that's okay, it's just fun, you know? So this piece is a very short kind of overture for band. And again, you'll hear his use, a very just brilliant use of the different timbres and sounds within the ensemble. The second piece we'll play is entitled They Shall Run and Be Free. It was composed by uh, Brant Carrick, who is the professor and director of bands at the Northern Kentucky University. Um, it was inspired by his um, visit to the National Underground Freedom, Railroad Freedom Center. And um, it's a tone poem. And tone poems date back to the Romantic period of music. And uh, it's, the composer uses timbres, sounds, rhythms, meters, key signatures, um, various things that the instruments can play to tell a story or to create images uh, in our mind. And so he's used this piece to tell us what that journey to freedom was like. We hope you enjoy Landscapes and They Shall Run and Be Free.
We have one more piece for you this evening. It's the third suite by Robert Jaeger. I, I, I've often wish I could meet Mr. Jaeger. He's got to have just a wonderful sense of humor. The first movement of this piece is entitled March. You and I know marches that are in two or four so we can keep time and move with them, right? Well, this march is in five and seven. Good luck marching to that, right? Yeah, so, so it's gotta, this guy's got to be fun to be around. The, the rondo, then the third movement, is typical rondo form that we know with themes keeping repeating, but he doesn't always hold true to that all the time as well, and his, his, the use of these themes is su super unique, and um, he, he hints at the rondo form at times, but is not always quite there. Again, just his sense of humor. Listen, once again, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your Monday evening. I encourage you to take a look at the Scheidegger, Scheidegger event calendar. There's a lots of other music department events happening this week and next week. We'd love to see you back for all of those, okay? So once again, thank you for being here. We have one more piece for you, and then we'll bid you good night. Thank you so much.
That's all the music we know tonight, so we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>